Hello friends, I'm back with yet another video. Um, this tutorial is about deploying a sample application on a GCP app engine. And uh, before we go on to deploy the application, there are some high level prerequisites that we need to follow. We'll create a new project and we'll use uh, majorly use Google Cloud Shell and a combination of console and Cloud Shell to enable the API, create the app engine, deploy the application, and then also disable the application so that uh, we can control the billing. There's one other step in the middle, which is to add the project to a billing account. But since we're using the free tier, we'll not be doing that. So let's go back to the console and create a new project. So I'll go to the projects and uh, I'll click on the new project button here. I'll name it as sample application project and I'll click on create. Notice that a job is submitted for a project to be created and uh, we'll just wait for the project to be created. So I skip to the part where we have to wait and the project has been created i will just navigate to the sample application project now if i go back to my google cloud shell and i execute the command g cloud projects list it shows me that this project has been created and it has a project id and a project name and a project number associated with it so now we have to work in this project majorly First, I will show you that this project needs to enable the App Engine Admin API to use the App Engine. So we'll navigate to uh, the op navigation menu. We'll go to API and Services and we'll navigate to the page where we can enable the service. Notice on the top we have a button called Enable APIs and Services. We'll click on the plus icon here and we'll search for our API which we need enabled. The App Engine Admin API, this is the API that we need to enable to be able to build our application on the App Engine. So, as you all know what App Engine does is it takes care of all the backend compute and it just gives us the UI of our application. We do not have to care about um, the platform or the infrastructure or the compute resources which are going to be required by our application So this is a completely serverless solution Provided by Google. So notice that the application uh, App engine admin API has been enabled. So I'll come back to my console and What I need to do is I need to navigate to my project So what I'll do is there's a simple command called gcloud config set project gcloud config and I will just pass the ID of my newly created project to this so that I am navigated to my own project. So you notice that in yellow, <clears throat> in yellow, this project name ID is written, which means that I am in my project right now. So whatever I do will be in our project. Now what I need to do is I need to create an app engine. So if I come back to the console, if I navigate to the navigation menu and if I go to app engine and I go to dashboard, it will show me that uh, I can create my application. So the first step now is to create my application or activate my app engine. So we can do this by clicking create application here or we can just uh, execute the command gcloud app create. So I'm going to execute this command now and I'll click on enter. So it asks me for a region. I'm going to select US East 1, which is 14. So notice that it is trying to create the application engine. I'm going to pause the video and skip over to the part when the app engine is created. So the app engine has been created. It is a success. If we go back to the console and if we navigate to the app engine page again, it will tell me that the app engine has been created and uh, now we're ready to deploy our application. So it's still loading, I guess. So it, it's going to take some time. Um, let's wait some more. I refresh the page again and now I can see that my app engine application has been successfully created. 
all I've got to do is deploy my application now. So I've taken the official repository and I've cloned it provided by Google, which is G, uh, GitHub, Google Cloud Platform, Python Docs sample. You can just uh, run the command to clone the repository in your G Cloud shell. It will ask for your username and your password. You, you can just provide it. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. If I hit the ls command, I can see that my repository has been cloned. I will just navigate to the place where my application is stored and I'm going to deploy that application. So, so if I go to Python doc sample app engine standard I'm going to post the link to this repository in the descriptions menu for you to use and uh, if I see there'll be a sample application called hello world here and these are the main yaml and main.py files so this is a python sample application which we are going to deploy on our app engine uh, if you want you can just check what this application is so it's runtime python and if i explore the main.python file it's going to give me all the configuration details regarding the application so all we're left to do it is to deploy the application and uh, for that there is a simple command which we're going to follow which is g cloud app deploy app dot yaml so now we're going to wait and uh, so it's going to ask me okay what is the are you sure that you want to deploy this application yes we are sure so we're going to pass a y and we're going to hit enter so notice that it generates a url so this url once our application is deployed this url is the place where we'll be able to test our application so if we go to our uh, if we are go to our, and we try this URL we'll not be able to reach the page so we'll just wait for this to happen and once it's done we'll be able to uh, view our application hello world in this tab let's wait so I paused the video and uh, to tell you it took approximately 10 to 12 minutes for the application to be deployed but it could depend on the size but the minimum it takes is around five to seven minutes so if you see now that the application has been deployed and the traffic spread for the service has been done the service has been deployed and if i click on g cloud app browse if i type the command g cloud app browse it going it is going to give me certain details about my application which is running now on my, on my app engine in this project uh, so it still takes a little bit of time and if we just go to the url that we discovered earlier and we hit enter i'm sure it is going to pop up with the page hello world so there you go voila our application is running and uh, if i come back and if i run the command command again um so let's go back to our app engine and see if we can view our application here we are just going to refresh this page and we are going to see if our application stats are visible and uh, sometimes it can take a little bit of time so we're just going to go to the navigation menu again and we're going to go to app engine then dashboard there you go now we see our application we can see its performance we can see the billing status and everything so our application is running now we have a url and i'm sure if i run the command again i'm going to see something now okay Well, I'm not sure why this is not happening, but the application is clearly running. Um, so notice that this application is billing now. It's 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 part of your uh, cost generated monthly. So you need to disable the application or delete the project entirely. These are the only two ways through which you can stop the billing of the application. So I will show you how to disable. If you go to the navigation menu and you scroll down to App Engine and you go to Settings. there's a button called disable application and if I disable the application here it is going to stop the billing and you you'll not be able to charge for anything and the application will stop responding there and then 
so you can disable your application easily and we'll go back to the shell now and the command which I was going wrong with was gcloud app describe which is the right command for you to kind of see what your application is in state you can also check the default bucket the default host name and certain parameters that will help you monitor the application so if you click on disable application here you just have to type the name of your project and its id and you're going to click on disable and it's going to disable your application entirely so there you go guys my application has been disabled and uh, there are ways to delete your project as well it's just that you go to im admin and then you go to uh, manage resources and you can easily delete your projects and that is the another way to stop your billing so this is it guys uh, post your queries in the comments and I'll be able to respond. I hope this tutorial was helpful and you'll be able to deploy your applications, all the developers out there. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for joining in. Subscribe and like for more. Thank you.